Hello and welcome to Rock Morning's Shadowbringers Relic Weapon Guide. My name is Demo and I'll be taking you step by step through the Blades of Gunhilder Relic Weapon questline. Like previous Relic quests aside from Eureka, many of these steps have you revisiting older content. For the best possible experience, it's recommended that you work on several Relic Weapons at once, as many of these quests overlap. You can also receive many of these items from doing your regular dailies. To start your Relic Weapon, you will need to unlock the Bosch and Southern Front. This is a quest called Hail to the Queen, starting in Kugane. To proceed through all the Relic steps, you will have to progress through the Save the Queen storyline. While there are options to complete your Relic Weapon outside of Baja, you will still need to reach a Resistance rank of 15 or more. For more information on how to complete the Baja Southern Front, please check our website. The first step is the quest, A Sober Proposal. The first weapon that you get is on the house, but any subsequent weapons that you need to get will require four Thavnarian scale powders. These can be purchased from a Rowena representative for 250 poetics each, or a total of 1,000 poetics. The second quest, For Want of a Memory, has you collecting three types of memory tokens. Each memory can be obtained in specific areas of the Bajan Southern Front, or from fates in the Heavensward Zones. Tortured Memory of the Dying can be obtained from skirmishes or random enemies in the first area of Bajja, or from fates in Kuerthus Western Highlands and Sea of Clouds. Sorrowful Memories of the Dying can be obtained from skirmishes or random enemies in the second area of Bajja, or from fates in the Dravanian Forelands and the Churning Mists. And finally, Harrowing Memories can be obtained in the third area of Bajja, or from fates in the Dravanian Hinterlands and Azizla. The third quest, The Will to Resist, requires six bitter memories of the dying. These can be obtained through completing level 60 dungeons synced, doing daily leveling roulettes, and have a low chance of dropping from critical engagements or imperial mobs in Bolgia. For all the, these memories, it's recommended to play the way that nets you the most gains. If you are still working your way through the Bosnian Southern Front, having these quests up will obtain memories at a fairly regular pace. Farming Fates, however, is a guaranteed drop, and can be quickly completed with a Fate Farming Group. The fastest farming method for all four memories at once is to join a cluster farming party in the Southern Front. In my experience playing casually on Bajja, I was able to get about two weapons worth of memories as I earned metal and farmed clusters. The fourth quest in this series brings us to the second phase, Law's Order. You must first complete the Castrum Lacus Litore. Check our Bosnian Southern Front Guide for the how-tos. Once completed, the next quest for your relic is Change of Arms. You need 15 Loathsome Memory of the Dying, which can be obtained in three ways. You can run Castrum again for a whopping 5 Loathsome Memories, they drop randomly from critical engagements in the Bosnian Southern Front, and there's a guaranteed drop in any Crystal Tower raid series. The next quest, titled Resistance Remembers, will be given by an Alagan node. You need 18 Haunting and 18 Vexatious Memories of the Dying. To obtain the Haunting Memories, you can either run Dunscathe Alliance Raids with a guaranteed drop at the end, or you can farm Fates in the Gear Abania Zones at roughly 25% drop rate. Likewise, to obtain Vexatious Memories, you can run Return to Ivalice Alliance Raids or farm Fates in Authored. Thankfully, you only need to do this quest once, and any future weapons you do will skip to the next step. We recommend running the Void Ark and Royal City of Ravenaster, as they tend to have the fastest queues and clears. However, you'd have to run each of these 18 times, 36 runs in total. Keep that in mind, and try to make it fun by switching things up. From my experience, I put on some anime while running a Fate Farm party, and that was the way to go for me. Next up, a new path of resistance. This step asks for 15 time-worn artifacts obtained through clearing Delubrum Regine, or randomly from Palace of the Dead. The drop rates from Palace of the Dead are fairly low, but they get higher as you go deeper into the dungeon. At floors 150, you get a guaranteed drop for every 10 levels. This could be preferable if you have a group of friends already running Palace of the Dead. As for Delubrum Regine, there are party finder groups that will organize for speed clears using buffs. As with every step, choose the method that sounds the most fun to you. Once turning in this quest to the Alagan node, it will allow you to pick customized substats on your new weapon. If you ever want to change the stats on the weapon, simply obtain 4 ethereal sealants from a Rowena representative for 400 poetics total, 
present them to the Alligan node, and choose the bonus stats for your weapon. And that brings us to the final phase of your relic, the Blades of Gunhilder. This step has three side quests, spare parts, tell me a story, and a fond memory. Once you complete these side quests, you will not need to do them again, as it will unlock the repeatable final quest. Each quest requires you to find two items, 30 of each. Obtain these items either from the fields of Zadnor, from skirmishes or critical engagements, or by running Alexander, Omega, and Eden raids. It's quite a lot for me to list, so I won't read them all out, but they are listed here on screen for you to read. Drop rates are all guaranteed, however in Zadnor the critical engagements will actually net you two of the reward provided you get a gold ranking. Simply farming skirmishes and critical engagements in Zadnor is a perfectly viable option, though if you need something specific, running the 8-man raids is great too. Some Eden raids can even be completed in about 4-5 to five minutes, so pick whichever route suits your fancy. Having completed all of those side quests, the final step is Irresistible. This is a repeatable quest asking for 15 raw emotions. These are obtained in 4 ways. From the final dungeon in Zadnor, Dalriada, rewarding 3 per clear. From Delubrum Regine, rewarding 2 per clear. From clearing level 70 dungeons while synced, one per clear. And finally, from running Heaven on High, with a chance of obtaining one per 10 floors. Getting three per Dalriada run is nice, as the dungeon spawns much more regularly than the first Castrum. You might also try Delubrum Regine for its multiple rewards and previous relic steps. However, the fastest farming method that we recommend is by running Hell's Lid or the Burn for that level 70 dungeon drop. You can even grab a party of blue mages and it will go even faster. Upon obtaining 15 raw emotions, return to Gangos, turn them in, and congratulations on obtaining your very own Blade of Gunhilder. For more information on the relic quests, as well as guides for the Bajan Southern Front, check out Ochmorning.com. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And if you have any suggestions for the guide or for future videos, be sure to leave a comment below. Thanks.